Adobe XD tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to make lists like this. We're gonna do this view. When we make lists, uh, we're gonna make the Android looking top and with the uh, Android shadows. And then we're gonna make this slider looking thing with a arrow bubble pointing to it. So let's get started. We start by making a new Android screen and then all of this all of these icons you can find under file and open UV kits in Google material and actually you can find this view under there as well if you want to so let's start by making this top uh, first we make a top bar just draw a square and the height is 24 for Android and we take away the border by unclicking it, the box and we make it dark red. You can make it whatever color you want, but make sure it's dark so you can have white icons on it. And then we just copy that by clicking Command C, Command V, of course. And then it's the height is 80 and we make it a little less dark red. We right click it and send to back. And then I'll just I'll just mark these by holding down shift and copy and paste it and then I'll just drag it to this side. Alright, so now we're gonna make this Android looking shadow. So we select this one and we click shadow and then for Android Y and B is four both of them so now that's the top bar the biggest shadow in android um so now you have the android looking top there let's make this list just make it with a circle tool we make a circle and make it uh, uh, 30. if you click this little lock icon the ratio will lock and you can just type one of them and it will be the perfect circle and we make it uh, we take the eyedropper tool and we make it the same color as the border and then we can unclick the border because we don't need it so now we have a circle where you can put like your profile picture or something and then we take the text tool and we type uh, uh, name uh, of course since it's Android we choose Roboto you can download it from the Google material design site and the font size is 16 and align it to the left and make it a little bit off black you can choose to make it completely br black and then use this or you can just make it a little bit off black like that all right so now we have the name and the profile picture the placeholder so now we just center those and we group them by clicking command g and then this of you've probably seen this repeat grid in other tutorials so you just click that you drag down and then you repeat whatever it is you've marked and you can also select the space in between them by clicking between them so I'm gonna choose 21 uh, so that's this part now we're gonna do the slider part just make the line tool hold shift to make it straight and make it light light gray and then take the square tool again and make it a big square it doesn't matter here because I'm gonna write type in what I want here so the width I want to be 5 and the height I want it to be 50 
right? And then we take away the border by unclicking this box, and then we select a grayish, dark grayish color, like that. And then to make it round, the corners round, like on this one, you select this number and type four. Uh, if you want it bigger, maybe you'll have to have this bigger. So. so now we have the slider, and the reason I made it five pixels wide is this is one pixel. So if I center it, it will be two pixels on each side of that. And so now we have our slider. Now we're just going to make this drop. And that's the last thing in this tutorial. So we make it uh, square like that, pointing where this part is pointing to the slider. And we take away the border and we take the eyedropper tool and select the same color as the, as the top here. And now you see these circles in the corners. If you just click on one and drag it down, you make a perfect circle or you make rounded corners. Uh, but what you can also do is that you make it a circle and then you click it and hold alt and then you just change, sorry, and then you just change one of them. So that makes this drop looking shape. And now we just take the type tool again, type the letter A, because we're on a name, I guess. And make it 35 and white. And then we just place it. Actually, we can center it. And we just place it in the center like that. Right. And to make it not pop this much, we take the transparency tool and we put it down to 90. Or maybe 95. All right. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll try to give you more Adobe tutorials. I'll see you later.